We got two meters here by Kyle Eats. This guy here and this guy here. Let's get to it. Alright guys, back at you with another tool review. We have the KM201 by Kiowitz, and we also have the KC602 by Kiowitz. One of them here, this one right here, is a homeowner style. Checking circuits around the house, stuff like that. Let's open it up here. We got the user manual. We got the actual device here. And uh, yeah, nice little sleek, small design. It is very small. Uh, very, very sleek meter here. So we're going to take it out. We're going to get the batteries put in. And uh, it also comes with a nice little uh, velvet pouch to store it in. So yeah, got it turned on here. It is auto ranging. So it's going to automatically pick up whether you're checking AC, DC, uh, continuity, or ohms. It also has a non-contact voltage um, uh, feature. And it has a couple other features here. So um, so yeah, very cool. We're going to put it to the test. We're going to check some circuits, uh, some batteries, and we're going to see how it holds up. So, um, but yeah, look, it even has a little flashlight on it. So perfect. All right, let's see what it does. All right, using the non-contact voltage uh, section first, uh, when we hit that neutral, it comes up uh, as L, which I assume is low. So, uh, but if we hit the high voltage side, it comes up with H and it flashes red, letting us know this circuit is live. So uh, L for a lower signal, H flashing red for a higher signal. So let's plug right into there. Okay, we have 122 volts and it's coming up red because we know that is live. All right, let's check these batteries in this remote. 2.72 volts DC. Looks like those batteries are a little low. Better get them changed. So let's check this very high voltage circuit, 243. Works there too. All right, next, let's check out the KC602. So um, this is a more professional style meter. I've had a chance to look at this meter a little bit and it is... It, uh, it, it holds up, guys. I mean, uh, it does almost everything my field piece one does. Let's uh, move that guy off to the side for now. Let's get this guy opened up. So we're going to come in this, uh, this nice, uh, durable case here. Um, let's get that unzipped. A little bit of snow falling, nothing major. Nothing major there at all. So, uh, all right, guys, we're going to get this guy opened up. Uh, it's going to come uh, with the three AAA batteries. It's going to come with the device in the plastic bag. It's going to come with meter leads, and it's also going to come with a temperature probe that plugs into where the meter leads plug into. So, um, so yeah, uh, here's the device right here. Um, we'll get it opened up and see what it can do. All right, we got it turned on. It automatically comes on in auto mode, which uh, it, you can, it will automatically detect amperage, voltage, ohms, or continuity. But we can manually select that by hitting the green button here uh, and manually select which, uh, which setting we want it at. And this, set, this thing does a, a ton. It does amperage, voltage, ohms, continuity, uh, temperature, capacitance. It does tons of stuff, guys. I mean, this thing has a bunch of different options here. So uh, right now we're going to test the amp draw on a condenser fan motor and it comes up uh, 0.4. So perfect. And we went th to that setting right from the auto. So it automatically detected that um, amperage reading. Now we're automatically detecting this high voltage 240 volt circuit. So the auto uh, function works perfectly on it. Now, uh, next we're going to test temperature. That top number right there is our Fahrenheit. So we're going up 95 degrees out of that supply. Perfect. So next we're going to manually select voltage. And the reason why I'm manually selecting voltage this time is because this meter does not come with a magnet. So I'm gonna use the clamp on it to clamp it around a wire. That way I have a way to secure the device while I'm checking voltage on this L1, L2 breaker on this air handler. Um, if you were to uh, let it auto range um, and cl clamp it on there, you'll get a weird reading. So you have to manually select voltage if you want to use the clamp as a 
securing device. So yeah, we're coming up 211 there. Uh, that works perfectly. I'm probably going to end up getting a magnet just to uh, super glue on the back of it. Nothing major there. So let's check this capacitor now. This is a 12.5 microfarad capacitor and it is reading 12.5. So not only does that work good, I have a good capacitor too. So perfect. But guys, this meter is great. And I'm going to put down in the description links for the homeowner style meter. I'm going to put a link for this meter. Use the links, you'll get 10% off. I'm also going to put another link for Kaya Wheats' website, get 15% off the whole website. There's no reason why you guys shouldn't check this guy out. Nice entry level budget style meter. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to let Kenny use it. He's going to use it on PMs and stuff like that. Guys, check them out. All right, guys, final thoughts on these two meters. The smaller one, the homeowner style one, is perfect for around the house for checking outlets, for checking your batteries, uh, open lines, uh, omen stuff out. It is perfect for that. Throw it in the drawer, pull it out when you need it. Perfect. I wouldn't take that one on a electrical or HVAC call, but it is perfect for around the house. Now, the clamp style meter, that is a more professional style budget meter. Um, it does almost everything my field piece meter does. I am a little bummed out that it doesn't have a magnet, but whatever. Get a magnet, super glue it on the back, it'll always be there. So it does high voltage, low voltage, AC, DC, capacitance, uh, uh, temperature. Kenny's gonna use this meter um, and uh, been doing PMs and stuff with it. It's a perfect entry level meter, guys. Perfect meter. And it's, it's really cheap. It's like 50 bucks and use the link below. You'll get even more money off. So I, uh, we're, we're going to test it uh, over the, over the winter into the summer. We're going to test its durability and see how it really holds up. And we'll check back with you guys and, uh, and see how it holds up. But I don't see any, any, uh, problem with this meter guys. Sometimes, you know, we just buy meters for their name. And, uh, and like I got the field piece meter, it was over $200. It's a great meter though. Don't get me wrong. It's a great meter. It's held up. But, uh, you know, sometimes we just shop by the name and what we want, but there is nothing wrong with this Kiowitz meter, and I would recommend it for any entry-level technician. But, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I hope you uh, like the video down below. Comment down below what you guys think. Uh, check them out on Amazon. Also, I'm going to put another link down there uh, for Kiowitz's website. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll catch you on the next one.